So good afternoon and welcome to Mindfulness Moment. My name is Evelina and I'm just thrilled to be with you here this afternoon. Um, mindfulness. In Sanskrit, the word mindfulness is translated into remember now. Remember now. So that's what we do here um, in this mindfulness moment practice. We come together to kind of remember now our bodies, right? We take a pause in our day to come now to remember um, and tune into the way the body takes in breath, the way we breathe in and breathe out. So just to come to this present moment, what a wonderful thing. So a mindfulness moment break in your day. Sit nice and tall. You can be in a chair. You can be in your seat at your desk if you wish, if you're on the ground. And just start to kind of stir yourself around here. Just open yourself up, starting to pay attention, right? Feel how the back body is feeling, your legs, your hips. I'm just kind of circling yourself around here. If you wish, you can close your eyes as you're doing this. You can go in one direction. Nice deep breathing as you're going here in through your nose, right back out through your nose. You can take the body and move it in the opposite direction. Again, awareness of your breath, right? It's now, this moment. Deep and clear. You can start to slow that movement down. You can slip your eyes open and go ahead and float your arms up to the sky. So a stretch here. Right, initiating that stretch from your pelvic floor muscles. See if you can feel that lift there. The arms are reaching up, your heart is lifting, very nice. Maybe even now the gaze can look up and you can move your head and neck a little bit side to side. We'll twist, so take your right hand to your left thigh and your left hand behind you. And deep breathing here, twisting. Again, we're initiating this movement from your base, from the pelvis, moving up into your spine, up into your shoulders. And then finally, your gaze can look over that left shoulder and keep your breath flowing as you're here. Inhaling, exhaling, inviting that breath to move very slowly, very completely in through your nose and right back out through your nose. Go ahead and come back up to the center, reach your arms up and take a big stretch here, maybe get a little taller. Turn your palms forward, open up the chest and then turn and twist to the opposite side. This time left hand resting against your right thigh and your right hand behind you. And it's a turn and a twist and a breathing deeply into your body, inhaling, exhaling. Twisting is good to get the body's energy to flow. Sometimes as we're in our workspaces, we tend to be seated in the same position or even standing in the same position for, for some time. And the body really enjoys the movement, the flow. And this is just an invitation for that to begin. Inhale, reach your arms all the way back up to the sky, lift up. You can swirl and twirl into your wrist, opening up, opening up, and then go ahead and bring your hands together, pressing each finger together and take a look at your hands for a moment. Take a look there, bringing that breath, your body, your hands right here to your heart center. And again, slip your eyes closed and just come here to your breath, to your body. Perhaps you'd like to set an intention for this afternoon, this mindfulness moment practice. Take a deep and clear breath in and exhale and let that go. Release your hands. Okay, we're going to transition now. We're going to come onto our hands and knees. So if you have, uh, if you want to be on your ground, you can also do this standing too, if you wish. Um, I happen to have a pillow here that I'm going to put under my knees. You could use a towel or something. If you're choosing to do these movements, we're going to do some more spine work with cat and cow. You can be standing with your hands on your thighs and just kind of flow rounding like a cat and looking forward here, opening up through your chest and just play like that. Breathing in. Breathing out, let the breath flow. Let the movement be guided now by your breath. And again, remembering. So you can remember your body here. Start to tune into places that feel particularly open, right? Maybe you're feeling open in the bottoms of your feet or the shoulders today. Maybe there's sensation of 
tightness or maybe some stiffness or soreness in your body. Just notice that, um, be aware of it, right? Even appreciate it, right? As you move here, as you start to open up the body using these postures, inhaling forward, that's a cow face pose. And then you exhale and you round into a cat. Deep breathing in. Be breathing out, let your gaze get really soft and internal. You can take a moment in one pose or the other. I'm staying in a cat pose for a moment, stretching through the shoulders, moving the head and neck softly. And do again what feels good, what feels right and nourishing for you. This is the nowness, remembering our bodies here. Good, look forward now, look forward, use your breath. And then we're gonna take the left foot back and extend it long, right? Keep the toes down, the leg is, is moving and then you can move forward and back a bit, just kind of pushing forward and back. Good stretch for your calf muscle, good stretch for your hip. You feel that energy there, breathing in, breathing out. Go ahead now and lift that, that left leg up, bend the knee and you can roll that leg around. If you're standing, you can do this. You can be uh, putting your hands against the back of the chair to support and stabilize and just roll that leg around in the hip socket. I like to take this left leg back behind my right leg and take a peek back behind that right shoulder. It gives you a good stretch to the side body. Look over the right shoulder and breathe in and breathe out. Good, go ahead and drop that left knee back underneath you and take some more rounds of cat and cow. And Notice how the body perhaps feels a bit different now. Breathing in from one side to the other. In through your nose. And right back out through your nose. Good, stabilize here. You got a nice core strength. Your belly's strong, right? Extend this time the right leg. Keep the toes down and stretch and push and pull forward. Core's engaged. Good stretch for the back of the leg for the foot as well, for your toes. Feel how strong and supported your core is as you're lifting up out of the foundation of your arms and your knee. Go ahead and lift that right leg up, bend the knee. And here again, you can explore the hip, roll that leg around one direction, the whole hip socket there, the other direction. Keep breathing fully, steadily, nice and full. I'm taking that right knee back behind and over towards my left hip and taking a look over my left shoulder. Good stretch for your hips. And then go ahead and bring that right knee back underneath you. And again, some more rounds here, cat and cow in through your nose, right back out through your nose. Let's change that breath a little bit. Take a breath in through your nose. You're going forward, you're looking forward and then exhale it through your mouth. <sighs> Letting go, letting go. Let's do this again. Inhale. And exhale, let it go, let it go, let it go. So if you're standing for these poses, you can go sit back down in your chair and take a gentle forward bend. If you're on the ground, push your hips back towards your heels and then lower the arms, lower your head and just rest here in a child pose. This is a good pose for your lower back any kind of tension there. If you're in your chair, make sure that you have your hands resting perhaps on your shins or touching uh, your legs in some way that you feel supported and just enjoy this stretch. Enjoy this moment of rest actually, breathing in, breathing out. It's a wonderful way to remember the now, just feel your body. Allow the breath, invite the breath in to nourish and open you, breathing in and breathing out. Good. Nice full breath. If you're on the ground, come back up onto your hands and knees. And we're gonna transition now for everyone to stand. If you're on the ground and you wanna transition through a downward facing dog, walk your hands way forward. You tuck your toes under and pull your hips way up and back and be here enjoying that stretch. You can take your time and pedal at your feet and play as you will. Just feeling your way, it's a wonderful place to invert the body, feel the energy moving through you. 
And then eventually, if you're on the ground, walk your hands back towards your feet and you're meeting here in a standing forward bend. Feet or hips distance, let the arms be nice and heavy. Your head is relaxed, say yes with the head, say no. Deep breathing, press down into the ground and slowly roll yourself all the way up. Take your time to get there. No rush, no rush as you come up, you're standing tall. And then take the arms and lift your shoulders way up to your ears. You can even bend your elbows a bit and feel that the arms come here. So you can keep them down alongside you for a moment. You're just kind of rolling your shoulders here, little self massage. You can even swim your arms forward, right? Bend elbows. You get a good rotation in the, the shoulders themselves, open and free in this, nice. Go ahead now and reach your arms all the way up to the sky. So you get really tall here. You're really lifted and tall. Grab hold of your right wrist and pull yourself way up and over to the left and keep breathing. Inhaling, and exhaling, good side body stretch. You can spin your chest up towards the ceiling there. Open stretch in the body. Come back up to the center, grab the left hand and go for that stretch on the other side. So again, the an invitation of the breath to flow. Getting a good stretch here through the intercostal muscles, the muscles that help with respiration. Inhale, bring your arms back to the center. Take your arms way out to the side. Bend your knees and go slow into a forward bend. Nice flat back as you go down. Release, 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 let go. Deep breathing in and deep breathing out. We'll twist here, right hand to left shin. And then that left arm goes straight up into the sky. So here's the twist. See if you can straighten that left leg as you turn, as you twist and invite the, the crown of your head to go straight forward. So it's coming right out of the spine. You're not leaning into that twist. You're expanding out of your spine and take deep breaths here. Exhale, gently release the left hand back down. Take a moment here. Both arms are dangling. Take a breath in. Ah, empty it through your mouth. Do this again. Fill up. Empty it all. This time, left hand to right shin. Right arm goes up to the sky. You can straighten that right leg. Again, the spine is opening. You extend from the crown of the head all the way out. Nice and deep and clear. Exhale, gently release it right back down. Forward bend. Inhale, come up halfway, you're nice and full. And now just walk your hands up onto your thighs and as if you're gonna sit down in a chair, but you're not. So this pose is a ukatasana, right? So here we are, we're seated. Your belly is nice and strong and engaged here. Reach your arms forward, deep breath. Nice, and then take the arms up, that's great. And then sink down and breathe in. Breathe out. Watch that your knees aren't tracking out. Try to bring them back in. Feel the four corners of your feet. Stick your hips back, stick your hips back, and then reach your arms all the way up. Standing tall, bring your hands together. Bring that prayer right through the midline of your body, over your nose, over your mouth, and right here to your heart center. Close your eyes for a moment. Remember the now, come here. Feel energy in your body, you might feel your own heart beating here. Beautiful, and then release your arms. Give them a shake, shake out the arms. Then you can shake out your legs a bit. Good, so we'll do just, just a few standing poses. I'm walking forward a bit. Hips are nice and square to begin, and then I'm gonna step the left foot back. But today I'm not gonna instruct the hips so much. The hips can be very naturally um, organized here in the pelvis. So my, my left hip is actually um, kind of turned off to the side a bit. The, the right hip is forward. Take your hands, interlace your hands back behind your body or rest your hands on your, your lower back and then start to bend your front leg. Keep that back leg nice and straight and strong. I have it to walk my front foot forward because I can take a little bit of a deeper bend there. Back leg is nice and straight and strong. Feel your shoulder blades moving towards one another. Now you can even send your gaze up to the sky. Feel that opening in your chest, right? Relax the head. Good, take the arms out to the side like you're gonna push the walls apart, right? Flex at your wrist and reach nice and strong. Good, straighten the front leg. And now we're gonna hinge right out of the hips. 
right of the hips. The arms stay nice and wide and spacious. Your left hand goes to your right shin, your left hand to your right shin. And then that right arm, bring it forward and then take it up to the sky. So there's a big twist here. Your gaze can look up towards that right hand and breathe deeply. Good stretch to the whole right side here. Use your breath, exhale, bring your right hand to your right hip. Uh, torso is even, put your left hand on your left hip and then up you go, right? Nice and strong and tall. Take a moment here. I'm gonna bring that back foot in, but I'm gonna heel toe it. So that's quite intentional. I'm just trying to get a little opening into the sole of the foot, into the leg itself. And then take a moment, stand tall. Palms out alongside your body, open hearted. Deep, mindful breath, right? Remembering the now here. Good. Stepping the right foot back. Again, no instruction with the hips. The hips are gonna be quite natural. And then that left foot goes forward. So the left hip is facing forward. The right hip is off to the side a bit, starting to bend that left knee. Again, I can walk my left leg a little further forward, making my stance a little bit wider. Back leg is strong and straight. Take your hands back behind you. See if you can interlace with the opposite index finger on top if you chose that interlacing of your hands. So just changing that up a bit. Otherwise, resting your hands on your back body. Lift your chest. Open up the head and neck and get really soft here. The breath is full. And keep bending that front knee and widening it a bit. Good, take deep breaths, float the arms out to the side, and then again, push the walls, all of the muscles of the arms. Feel your shoulders open, your collarbones are nice and spacious here. Beautiful, feel that energy right to the tips of your fingers. Straighten that front leg and then hinge forward. So notice I'm not rounding, I'm hinging here at my pelvis, nice and strong. The arms are out to the side. Now this time the right hand to the left shin, that left arm kind of moved behind me. I'm gonna bring it forward and then turn it up towards the sky, right? Breathing in, breathing out. You can take a look up to that left hand and fill the body with breath. Good stretch into the hip. Take that left hand, put it on your left hip. Put your right hand on your right hip. Use your legs and your core and stand yourself right back up. Good, take a moment and Heel toe that back leg in, heel toe that back leg in, and stand tall here and now. Tadasana, we meet in a mountain pose. So just one sun breath now. Reach your arms all the way up. Big stretch, so plenty of opportunity in this moment to stretch your body. Exhale, flow forward, a forward bend. I have nice soft knees there, protecting my lower back, little bend there. Inhale, come up halfway. Nice flat spine, exhale, release it right back down, press into the ground and rise back up. Arms reaching to the sky, deep and clear with your breath. Palms meet here. Bring the hands right through the midline, over your nose, your mouth, right here to your heart. Beautiful. And release. And now go ahead and take a seat. So you can sit back down in your chair if you wish, or you can be on the ground for this if you, if you wanna do this on the ground. I'm gonna sit on the edge of a chair here. <sighs> sit tall for a moment. You're on the ground, those legs are extended forward. You're gonna reach and grab that left leg and give it a little swing, right? Grabbing the left shin, give it a little swing, one side to the other side. And then you can stack your ankle to your knee here, stacking ankle to knee. If you're on the ground, if you wanna bend that bottom foot and stack that ankle under that knee, you're absolutely welcome to do that. It's called Agni Skambhasana. It's such a great stretch for the hips. It's a fire log pose. Being here now, take your arms out and interlace your hands back behind your head. Make sure your core is activated. It's a little more challenging on the ground. Use your breath, keep that left foot flexed. And now again, hinging, not rounding at the waist, but hinging right out of the pelvis. I'm gonna come forward and there's a lovely stretch, right? A good stretch. You could take and put a little traction in your head so you can kind of tug on the head very gently, very compassionately, get a little length through the back of the head and neck. And then you can take your arms and rest them on that shin, that front shin. 
just putting a little weight there. Be really kind and gentle and go as far as your breath takes you. Breathing in and breathing, breathing out. Good. Slowly coming back up, rising back up. Shrug your shoulders. Perfect, yeah. <clears throat> undo, undo. You're gonna undo that leg. You give that left leg a little shake, a little shake. I'm gonna join you on the ground this time. So extend the left leg. If you're on the ground, right leg, give it a little swing. You can do this again in your chair if you wish. Give it a little swing, swing, swing. Stacking ankle to knee. I'm sitting nice and tall here. Um, and I'm gonna take my bottom leg and do the same thing. Stacking ankle to knee. There's a little space there for me. Pretty deep stretch in the hips. Sitting nice and tall wherever you are. Slip the hands back behind your head, a little tractioning here. You can even sneak your thumbs to the hinge of your jaw. You can open your mouth a bit and give yourself a little massage as you flow forward. Again, not rounding, but hinging here at the pelvis will give you a really good stretch. Make sure your feet are flexed. That will protect your knees as you're going down, as you're going down. Once you get to where you need to be, you can gently release your arms. You'll know because your breath will tell you where you need to be, right? Uh, forearms drop onto your shin and you can just relax your head and be here now, breathing in. Oh, exhaling it out, feel that stretch, appreciate. Uh, opening the hips is really helpful. It's good for the lower back. It's good for the whole body. You know, it's this little tension place, right? A secret hiding place for tension is in the hips, lower back area, gently release and come back up. Slow, slow, slow. Little shrug of your shoulders you can undo here. And then go ahead now, shake out your legs and prepare a seat of meditation. So again, if sitting in a chair is your preferred seat, absolutely. It's gonna be here on the ground. <clears throat> I have a pillow underneath me. I like to have my hips a little higher than my knees in this situation. So um, just it stabilizes the pelvis for you. And this is the mindfulness practice, right? This is kind of the culmination of it all that we pause in uh, this busy day of ours to have a moment, to take a moment to really arrive here, right? So you can relax your hands down on your thighs the hands will fall organically. So just trust what happened is just as it should. It might be the hands up or down, just, just be where you are. And be here now and just let your eyes begin to soften. Remembering the now we first tune into our body, our physical body. You sense your foundation, Maybe the legs or the feet or the hips holding you steady here. Feel the energy of your breath, right? the energy of your body moving through your spine. Maybe you can sense it there at the back of the head and neck. And come home to your breath, returning again. It's such a wonderful anchor for us. A great way is to pause in mindfulness anytime during the day is just to focus, focus on this one breath. This one breath. And keep going like that, keep going like that. Very intentional with the focus, the mindfulness practicing, remembering now. If your beautiful mind gets distracted, runs away with the thought, invite it back, invite it back to your breath, to the now.
the anchor of your breath, holding you steady in stillness. awareness of your breath. Remember now. Take a deep and clear breath in. Fill all the way up. And this time, exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Go ahead and bring your hands together in front of your heart and take a moment to set an intention for this afternoon's practice. Hold that intention. Hold it with kindness, with compassion. Take a deep and clear breath in. As you exhale, send it out. Send out that intention into the world. Keep pressing your hands together and then reach your arms all the way up. So get really tall again, nice and strong in your seat. And as you exhale, go ahead and rest your fingers right here at your forehead. And here you can see, you can see the truth. Take a deep and clear breath in. As you exhale, bring your fingers right here to your lips. And here you can speak, you can speak the truth. Take a deep, clear breath in as you exhale your hands, meeting your heart center. And here you know, you know the truth. Take a deep, clear breath in and exhale. Namaste to you. Thank you all so much for the privilege and honor of guiding you through this afternoon's mindfulness moment. So I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. Maybe you pause uh, through your day um, and, and take a moment just to, to remember the now in your body and your breath as you travel through this week. And I look forward to seeing you next week. So have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Yep.